What is going on everyone? What was the coolest thing invented in your state? Most of us learned about something that was invented wherever we came from while we were growing up. Talked about it in school, whatever. I always found that very interesting. You could take a little pride in something that, you know, bettered society if it was invented in your state in a way. I've had a few Texans bring up how Dr. Pepper was invented or created in their state. They always act like they had something to do with it too. It's really weird. But anyway. Which one is the most important, cool, or just popular is debatable. We had a group discussion here at World According to Briggs and we couldn't decide on how we should approach this subject. Important to society, most mass produced, what was the most interesting. In the end, we just thought we would decide on a state by state basis, just whichever one we thought was the best one. This should be fun. If you think we're wrong on what the coolest in your state was, let us know in the comment section below. There's no right, no wrong answer here. This is just kind of an opinion. All right, let's take a look. Alabama. Alabama is a pretty interesting state for a lot of different reasons, but did you know the electric hearing aid was invented in Alabama? And it's got an interesting backstory. A man named Miller Reese Hutchinson spent four years researching this because he had a friend who had become deaf and mute after a childhood case of scarlet fever. He designed, worked on it, and created it at Alabama Medical College in 1898. That's how long they've been around. Alaska. Alaska gave us ranch dressing. No kidding. A plumber named Steve Henson was kind of the cook for this remote job site in Alaska in the 1950s. And one day, I guess they were out of, I don't know, mustard or other salad dressing, and he decided to spice up buttermilk mayonnaise with some herbs, threw it on a salad, and it was a big hit. He continued to make it, and then he got married. Him and his wife moved to California and opened up a restaurant called Hidden Valley Ranch. Alaska also gave us kayaks. I feel that one needs to be mentioned too. Arkansas. Now this one we were kind of on the fence with because Walmart comes from Arkansas and that's really not an invention. It's just really a business, but it's still got its roots in Arkansas. But this one may shock some of you. Movies with sound started in Arkansas. A man named Freeman Owens put sound to film in 1923 and held 200 patents during his lifetime. Arizona. The Taser. Everyone knows and loves the Taser. You can watch YouTube videos about people getting tased all the time. It's one of my favorite things to do, sadly. The Taser was invented in Arizona by a NASA scientist named Jack Cover. Now, he developed the Taser in the 1970s, but it used gunpowder to actually launch the prongs. Well, nobody was buying it, and the business eventually collapsed. Well, around 1993, two Arizona brothers reached out to Cover and asked him to help them develop a Taser that could be sold to civilians for personal protection. Protection. Maybe it was the time or the switch over to compressed air instead of gunpowder. Either way, it started selling and now it's a big part of law enforcement and people trying to get to their car at the mall in the middle of the night. California, the iPhone. Yes, in 2007, Steve Jobs brought us the iPhone. I should say a bunch of engineers at Apple along with Steve Jobs pushing it brought us the iPhone. In 2007 is when it launched and in 2007, Time Magazine named it the invention of the year. Colorado. The cheeseburger. Yes, McDonald's, Burger King, none of them came up with the cheeseburger. It was actually Denver's Humpty Dumpty Drive-In. They had this crazy idea to put some cheese on meat and then put two pieces of bun around it. I think they had hamburgers already at that point, but putting the cheese on it was just groundbreaking. Connecticut, vulcanized rubber. Vulcanized rubber doesn't sound like a big deal to most people, but Charles Goodyear discovered the secret of vulcanizing rubber, a process named after the Roman god of fire, Vulcan. And it's not just in tires, it's life jackets, gloves, pencil erasers, all kinds of good stuff use vulcanized rubber. A uh, runner up for this one was the can opener came from Connecticut. Delaware. Kevlar. Kevlar came from Dow Chemicals and it was invented by Stephanie Kwalek. She was a longtime chemist at DuPont and she discovered this synthetic fiber that's bulletproof. I mean, it saved a lot of lives, saved a lot of injuries. I, you know, could have at least gotten a couple dozen stitches if it wasn't for a Kevlar helmet on a couple occasions, actually. But she invented this in the 1960s and now it's everywhere. Runner up in Delaware was, again, at DuPont in the 1930s, it was nylon. Florida. Florida gets two and they both have to do with how hot it is in Florida. One, this is where air conditioning was invented. The original version of air conditioning was just basically blowing air over frozen towels and different fabrics, things like that. The second thing that was invented in Florida that I think is significant, Gatorade. 
An assistant for the University of Florida's football team asked university scientists about why so many of their players were having heat-related injuries and all that, and they decided it was because electrolytes. So they decided to come up with a drink that would replace electrolytes. That drink is Gatorade. And the reason they named it that? The University of Florida's football team is the Gators. Georgia. Georgia has quite a few things. Coca-Cola, different forms of anesthesia, but probably the most important thing ever created in Georgia was the cotton gin. The cotton gin was invented by Eli Whitney in 1794. He'd been working on it for some time, but this amazing machine separated cotton fiber from the seeds, which used to be picked out by hand, one little seed at a time. Hawaii, surfing. They attribute Hawaiians to surfing. There's a lot of discussion on where it may have actually started, but what we know as surfing today is attributed to Hawaii. I mean, they perfected it and they made it popular. And they have some of the best surf in the world, too, so it only makes sense. Idaho. Idaho invented television. Well, sort of. The original blueprints for television were drawn on a high school chemistry classroom blackboard in Idaho by a guy named Farnsworth in the early 1900s. But he didn't actually get around to making the device until 1927, when he relocated to San Francisco. Is anyone else surprised that Idaho's invention didn't have something to do with fishing with explosives? Illinois, the transistor. Yep, in Chicago, Illinois, in a hotel room, William Shockley developed the first junction transistor in 1948. And if you don't know what that is, that's just a device that turns electric current on and off. These days, it's much more advanced and it does everything from turn on lights to open your car doors with your remote, things like that. Indiana, the washing machine. We all have a machine doing our laundry these days because of a dude in Indiana. His name was William Blackstone and he built the first rotary machine that removed dirt from clothes as a birthday gift to his wife in 1874. That is an incredible gift. I mean, he didn't just give it to his wife, he gave it to all of us. Iowa. The first gas-powered tractor was invented in Iowa. An Iowa farmer named John Froelich got tired of dragging a steam engine out to the fields and he came up with the gas-powered tractor. Kansas. The helicopter. I was going to go with the icy, you know, like the slurpy type thing. That was invented in Coffeeville, Kansas at a Dairy Queen, but we're going to go with helicopters. So there was a local inventor type dude in Kansas named Rex Mandeball. He developed the helicopter in 1939. He only got so far with his invention before other people took it over and kind of ran with it. I mean, when he was doing it, he was only going a couple feet off the ground and it was always attached to the ground by ropes. But he could lift off the ground with a helicopter and yeah, that's where it started in Kansas. Kentucky, bourbon, and the song Happy Birthday, but we're going to go with bourbon. I wonder if the two of those had anything to do with each other, but no, bourbon was invented in Kentucky. There's a little discussion on who actually came up with bourbon and who first distilled it, but a lot of people uh, attribute it to a Kentucky Baptist minister named Elijah Craig. He's the one that everyone thinks actually came up with bourbon. Louisiana, jazz. Most of this list is actually things you can put your hands on. Jazz you can't put your hands on, but I think this one's important. The first mention of jazz music was in 1916 in an article of the New Orleans Times, where they actually called it J-A-S bands, like jazz instead of a Z and S. Anyway, that was the first time it was ever mentioned. To know who actually invented jazz, well, that's impossible, but more than 100 years later, New Orleans is known as the birthplace of jazz. It's also the birthplace of poker. Maine, the diving suit. Yeah, you gotta have a diving suit if you can jump in the water in Maine. It's normally really cold. While metal diving suit concepts date way back to the 17th century, Leonard Nacross patented the first rubber diving suit in 1834. They also invented donuts there. Maryland, Bottle caps. They invented bottle caps in Maryland. A man named William Painter invented the bottle cap in 1891. Massachusetts. Facebook. Yes, Mark Zuckerberg developed it in his dorm room at Harvard. He also sort of had to settle with the dudes he kind of took the idea from. But regardless of the backstory, Facebook was developed at Harvard, which is in Massachusetts. Michigan, the automobile assembly line. Now, the Model T Ford was also created here too, but Ford wasn't the first automobile assembly line. The first one was actually done by Ransom E. Olds, who came up with the Oldsmobile. And that was in 1901. Minnesota. 
rollerblades. Now everyone knows that scotch tape and post-it notes came from Minnesota, but not everyone knows rollerblades came from Minnesota. Scott and Brennan Olson invented rollerblades in 1980. Mississippi, Pine Sol. You know the cleaning product? Pine Sol was invented in the Magnolia State. Chemist Harry A. Cole was living in some forest near Jackson, Mississippi, amongst all the pine trees, and started testing it as a disinfectant and deodorizer. And now we have Pine Sol. And if you ever spent any time in the military, you know everything is cleaned with Pine Sol. Missouri, the ice cream cone. The first ever ice cream cone was invented, but it first showed up at the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair. Montana, the portable heart monitor. So for all you with a bad ticker, you could thank Montana for it. Actually, Helena, Montana was where it came from. Norman Jeffers Holter founded the Holter Research Foundation, and in 1947, he invented the wearable Holter heart monitor. Nice, you can get out and get around. Nebraska, the ski lift. Yeah, the ski lift. Nebraska is one of the flattest states we have, and they came up with a ski lift. Well, the first time it was put in use was actually in Idaho. The reason the ski lift was invented wasn't for skiers. It was actually to move bushels of bananas. Nevada, blue jeans. In 1873, Levi Strauss introduced something that would become, like, iconic for America. It is probably the most successful article of clothing that the United States has ever had. And probably the world. New Hampshire. The Segway. Yeah, you know that funky thing that's replaced walking or they want it to? The Segway was invented in Manchester, New Hampshire by Dean Kamen. He's an American engineer who's come up with all kinds of crazy stuff. Right now he's working on a water purification system that could, you know, turn swamp water into drinkable water. And it's pretty impressive. He's done things like the first at-home dialysis machine and a few other things. The guy's a genius, and he's still alive. A lot of people think he's dead because the guy that bought Segway from him drove a Segway off a cliff a year after buying the company. New Jersey, the light bulb. Thomas Edison gave us the light bulb, and his laboratory was in Menlo Park, New Jersey, not Menlo Park, California. In a two-year time frame in the late 1800s, he made over 3,000 different types of light bulbs trying to make one work. The way he wanted it to, I should say. New Mexico, the atomic bomb. Yes, we have New Mexico to blame for blowing up a couple cities in Japan back in the 1940s. The creation of the first atomic bomb was done in Alamogordo, New Mexico. New York, toilet paper. Toilet paper comes to us from the great state of New York. In 1857, an entrepreneur named Joseph Gady developed the first paper that was designed for your backside. North Carolina, the airplane. The Wright brothers first flew and got their business off the ground, quite literally, in North Carolina at Kitty Hawk. They actually first flew at a place called Kill Devil Hill, but Kitty Hawk sounds nicer when you're telling the story. People from Ohio like to argue this one because the Wright brothers are from Dayton, Ohio, but they first flew at Kitty Hawk or Kill Devil Hill. North Dakota, the Kodak camera. Yes, it's from North Dakota. I would have never guessed that one. I would have thought, you know, someplace with a lot of industry like, you know, maybe Ohio or New York or something like that, but North Dakota. Ohio, the traffic light. That's not as exciting as Superman. Superman was created in Glenville, which is a neighborhood in Cleveland in 1933 by Joe Schuster and Jerry Siegel. They sold the rights to DC Comics in 1938. Forget this, $130. That's almost $3,000 in today's money. Oklahoma, the parking meter. The parking meter was created in Oklahoma City who had a problem. They didn't have enough parking places for all the cars, so they were trying to encourage people to get their shopping done and get out of town so other people could get there. So they started a nickel an hour parkometer program and had these meters. Oregon, Wikipages. So Wikipages would eventually become things like Wikipedia. But in 1995, Oregon-based programmer Ward Cunningham wanted to create a website where the average Joe could get on and update pages and add pages to it and just have it always growing. He used the word wiki wiki from the Hawaiian term, which means very fast or quick. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania has a lot of really cool things that came out of there. The suspension bridge, the first computers, Ferris wheel, and my favorite, bubblegum. Walter Dimer was a full-time accountant in Philadelphia when he started toying with the different recipes for gum, and he actually came up with bubblegum. Gum had already been around, but the actual type of texture and formula that they have now where you could actually blow bubbles with it was invented here in Philadelphia. 
Rhode Island. Rhode Island has very interesting one, diners. They came up with diners. They were the first ones to have them. But I think the most impactful one was the automatic sprinkler system that they put in buildings to, you know, knock out fires and stuff. South Carolina, the military submarine. In 1864, during the Civil War, Horace Hunley developed the first military submarine, which was put into use during the Civil War. South Dakota, the cyclotron. Ernest Lawrence invented this particle accelerator in 1932, and it was used to discover things like different elements and cancer treatments. Tennessee. Cotton candy. Cotton candy was developed in Nashville, Tennessee in 1897 by a dentist. I get the feeling he was just trying to get more customers. Texas. I'm sure a lot of you think that their inventions have something to do with Old West and things like that. No, they've invented some pretty cool stuff. First one I want to tell you about is the electric typewriter. James Field Smathers invented the first electric typewriter in 1912. They also came up with the first handheld calculator. Utah airbags. Automobile airbags had kind of been on the drawing board since the 1960s, but they really weren't practical until about the mid-1980s when they started installing them in cars. Vermont sandpaper. At least I should say the sandpaper we know today. Forms of sandpaper can be traced back to China in like the 13th or 14th century, but what we know as sandpaper today was developed in 1834 in Springfield, Vermont. Virginia chapstick. In the late 1890s, Dr. Charles Brown Fleet, known for inventing health products, came up with chapstick in Lynchburg, Virginia. His wife was the one that came up with the idea of selling it like lipstick in a tube, and that helped the business boom. Washington. Windows Operating System, which is on most of our computers. Originally, Bill Gates and his band of merry men started Microsoft in New Mexico. But in 1979, they moved to Bellevue, Washington. Two years later, they came out with the first personal computer operating system. West Virginia, steamboats. Steamboats were invented by James Ramsey in 1787 on the Potomac River. Wisconsin, the blender. If you love margaritas, you can thank Wisconsin for your margarita. Wyoming, so they have two interesting ones. One, I'm not sure if it fits, but we're gonna go with it. National parks, the first national parks were in Wyoming. They were sort of placed there. I wouldn't say the whole idea was cooked up there, but one thing they did invent in Wyoming was headgear. You know that weird thing you put on your head if you have braces? If you had to wear one of those in the 1970s or 80s, you could thank John Devine for his 1924 invention. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. A little bit different. I thought this one was interesting, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.